Hi everyone, today I'll be using a Fed-free Soviet camera. Many years back I've used Feds and Zorkas before, but this particular Fed-free I haven't used. It was given to me by my brother and he had it in storage for many years. So I'm not too sure if it's working. Cosmetically it's looking good, the shutter seems to fire correctly. So I'm going to load it with this Bones 35mm film, sent to me by Analog Wonderland in the UK. It came in a box with a bunch of other experimental film. And what this is is basically repurposed x-ray film and it's recommended you use it in a camera with a very strong mechanical wind on because unlike normal 35mm film this film is really thick and it's quite tough to pull it through your camera. I've also read that the results are kind of mixed with this film, so this is why I decided to sacrifice it on this untested fed. I like the look of this fed free over some of the other ones, particularly the Zorkis. The Zorkis I find they're a little bit too big, but this fed free is nice and compact and uh, it's a nice looking camera. So let's go out and shoot and see the results. haven't the foggiest of how good these uh, images are going to come out with the old fed free. There's always a chance that the photos won't come out at all. So I'm going to wind it on first and then change the shutter speed. Should be a, yeah it's about right, 1 25th of a second at f3.5. Go between 2.8 4, so it's a little bit, hopefully overexposed, just a little bit. The rangefinder is pretty mediocre on this sole fed free, so uh, you just have to kind of hope for the best. It kind of helps the rangefinder, but it's not, not great. I also have to think about parallax a little bit. Hopefully, that's alright. The film itself is not really pro-grade in any way. It's an uh, experimental film, so apparently it's going to look all scratched up and a little bit spooky looking. Everywhere I go I see about 60 or 70 squirrels. <laughs> There's so many squirrels about today. They're stocking up for winter. It's now tipping with rain. So I'm spending my afternoon stuck under a bush. Today. Hopefully the rain has stopped and then I can get into the city and take some more shots. This cloud is being a bit stubborn. This is Britain. This is autumn and winter, spring, summer, Britain. This is the weather we have. So anybody who wants to come to Britain, just expect to get wet all the time, all the time. Now it's getting heavier. So back in Oxford City. The rain's decided to stop. So I'm just going to take a few pictures. Not too sure why yet. So I received an email this morning telling me that my negatives have been developed and the scans have been sent to me. So let's have a look at them.
So yeah, as you can see, there was a lot of uh, light leak issues going on. I wasn't really expecting much from the film anyway, but on further inspection of the camera, I made a mistake. You see, I checked all areas of the camera except the shutter curtain. And this fabric curtain here has some coating on it that has deteriorated. So if you get yourself a uh, old camera like this with a fabric curtain, I recommend shining some light through it just to see if there's any uh, light leakage going on. It's probably a very simple fix to do, but for now, for me, this Fed Free will just be an ornament. Bit of a shame, but I thought I'd give it a go. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye for now.